uh, DNA, I have stated my views. I think uh, I have stated my views in terms of uh, the AG has to uh, explain. I think uh, solution was given as well during a parliamentary session yesterday by the Prime Minister. Uh, moving forward, I think important uh, aspect of this issue is that the separation of the role of uh, the AG and the Solicitor General and the Prosecutor General. Uh, so this is something that the government has agreed, the cabinet has agreed in principle, and uh, it has been given back to the parliamentary Select committee to go through the details uh, because of what, why it takes some time to uh, to ensure that this separation can happen. Uh, it involves two aspects. Okay. One is of course a legal implication. You have to amend a uh, constitution to ensure that there is a separation of power because. Uh, the, the, the role of the Attorney General is stated in the Federal Constitution. So any separation of power, you must have a uh, matter to the Federal Constitution. This must be brought to Parliament. So hopefully we can get to the majority. But before we can bring to uh, Parliament, definitely we have a lot of trusting to be done. We have a lot of respect that you have to look into. How does this separation uh, functions and, and, and has been talked through in terms of their functions, in terms of their roles and so on. Secondly, of course, the war financial implication. Because uh, immediately you separate, then you have you need to have two offices, you need to have two departments, you need to have double the size of uh, uh, in terms of the the, the, uh, the staff. So all that, of course, it has to go through some government planning. So that will take some time. Uh, we of course we put a, a, a pipeline of within twelve months. We have to bring this and make this as a reality. And hopefully this can be done by next year in terms of the separation of uh, the AG and the prosecutor.